And this challenge was so good. Oh my gosh. I, love I can't it. wait to talk about it. We should talk about it. Are we live now? We hey, are everybody. live now. We're live. Yes. Welcome to Funnel Hacker TV. Oh my gosh. We'll talk about that in a minute. We're so excited to have you guys. Welcome to Funnel Hacker TV. We have some really cool stuff going on. We wanted to, we wondered if it was okay if in this episode, we over delivered. Like this is Russell's thing. Like our job is always to over deliver. You guys okay if we over deliver this episode and we go like, super crazy and talk about everything that's happening. If you're okay with that, stick with us. Let's roll the intro and we'll jump right back in. We are part of an underground group of entrepreneurs that you've probably never even heard of before. We are funnel hackers and these are our stories. <laughs> that hat was not appropriately sized for my head. <laughs> All right, oh my gosh, we are here. Welcome to Funnel Hacker TV. I'm Susan Leonardson. This over here is Ben Moot. And we are going to be over delivering. We have a ton of stuff to talk about today and uh, and show you and and, and uh, Funnel Hacker. Uh, we need a term. We need a term because I I stole the other term. So like nerd out, but like we need like a Funnel Hacker term no, for that. We need, we need like a Funnel <laughs> Hacker. Like it's, it's like a... <laughs> We're gonna yeah. we're gonna do some cool stuff. Oh. Okay, so we have some funnel FOMO that we are gonna bring to you. Things oh, like I'm feeling this because I haven't been able to fully attend yet. We've got right. funnel uh, hackers on location. What is coming up that we're gonna be involved in? Yes. Hacker heroes. We got a ton of you to highlight, and then we're gonna be having a funnel hacking with Susan in a moment with Secrets yes. of Success Funnel, uh, which has been has been so awesome. So. Make sure that you stick around for the whole thing. Share this episode out. We would love to make sure everyone's able to come in and see what we've got going on. Make sure that you're subscribed to the text notifications. You can text FHTV to 208 231 Go to funnelhacker.tv. You can subscribe to email notifications, watch past episodes, and we're on YouTube. Shout out to our YouTube people. Make sure that you guys have subscribed and hit the bell notification so you know when we're going live as well. Yes. Oh my gosh. Okay. Ben, Ooh. we want to kick us off with the funnel FOMO. So I think good. we should kick us off with funnel FOMO. Okay. So there are a couple things that are happening right now that you may be missing. And some of it is really good. And one of the things you may not know about, there's a secret meeting going on right now in Nashville. And what this is, it's the Renegade Millionaire Mastermind for Magnetic Marketing. So right now, uh, the Renegade Millionaire Mastermind is the uh, it's magnetic marketing's version of like Russell's inner circle, more or less. And so they're all meeting in order to talk about like their businesses, how they're getting it ready for, for the economy, what's happening. They're strategizing, masterminding, going through workshops. They have multiple days in Nashville where they're all hanging out. Um, we got to hang out with these, these guys when they were in Boise last time. And it was really, really, really cool. And so we want to make sure that, uh, we highlight them because it is so much cool stuff going on. If you guys are big fans of Dan Kennedy, this is a room that you want to be in. Uh, this is the room to be in. Dan Kennedy was actually at the last one. And so it was really cool. I'm, I, I think he might be calling in for this one, but I can't, I can't remember it. I have to ask, <laughs> but it was, it's really, really cool. So that's going on right now. So if you're having any FOMO, it's okay. So am I, I did not drive up. I do not have a car. I only have a rental right now. So we're trying to get a car in the next 24 hours and we should be good to go. But there's something else that's going on and you don't need a car for it at all. And if you've missed any of it, the last day is tomorrow. That is the how to get anything you want challenge. And oh my gosh, has it been good. It's yeah. so good. Oh my gosh. Okay. So you got, you got to watch in a lot yesterday, day one. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, okay. I want to ask you, because we were talking about this a little bit. What's, yeah. What has been your feeling about this challenge versus other challenges that Russell has done? I like other challenges Russell does. He's on the stage. He's presenting. He's got speakers that fly in. And it's like, it's an experience. This is almost something that he threw together because he was just so ridiculously excited. And if you don't know why he was so excited, you should watch the episode from, la from a couple days ago on Halloween because holy cow. Um, but it was so good. Uh, but he literally just threw this together and it feels, it feels like it's behind the scenes. Like, I feel like we finally get to see like Russell just geek out about something and I don't want it to be fancy anymore. Like I don't want the stage. I want to see Russell in his office having calls 
with uh, with Joe Vitale and Eileen Wilder and or super ridiculous special guests. I'll let you drop the name um, and like more tomorrow. Like it is so cool. There's just some it's it's really neat to be able to see almost behind the curtain and be able to see like it's OK to launch a business like that. Yeah. Yeah. So we're at two days in. Day two yep. is was just this morning. Um, so there's still day three uh, tomorrow. And it's been so good. I got to tune into it a bit today. Okay. I tuned in and I was like, okay, what am I stepping into? Because we saw um, Eileen Wilder was on there yes. as, as a guest mm -hmm. today. She's so awesome. So amazing. Um, I really love her and Russell's dynamic because they're like, fr they're like friends. Um, yeah. They uh, just, it, it's just like you said, you're just kind of stepping into a behind the scenes conversation about something mm -hmm. that's so cool, which is um, Elsie Lincoln Benedict's books. This challenge is all around her book series that if you watched our last episode is at least 14 books long, but maybe more. At least. I don't know. Um, and uh, and then there was another special guest today, which just amazing human being. Um, oh that her, her name is Heather Benedict, and she is the granddaughter of Elsie Lincoln Benedict. And so Heather is, is, is the, uh, so I don't want to tell the whole story, but last episode, we talked about how like there were some books that were missing from Russell's set. Um, Olga was one of our guests last up at the last FHTV. Yes helped Russell track down these books. They're coming from Heather, the granddaughter of Elsie Lincoln Benedict. Um, and so, yeah, as you said, like this, this challenge was thrown together. Like the timing of it is just like miraculous. Like there is mm. just, there's gotta be intervention from a higher being in this thing because they just connected like Heather mm -hmm. and Russell just like connected and then this challenge is thrown together and she gets to be a guest and she's, she's an amazing woman. Like she just fits right in. That was my first observation of like, oh my gosh, she's just pulling up books, open them up to the right spot to talk about and whatever. Russell and Eileen doing. are like, what is this? <laughs> so good. <laughs> um, oh. So you guys are, you guys are really missing out. Um, I'm, I'm fairly certain that, um, if you get into the Secrets of Success membership area at some point, you might be able to watch this challenge in there. It's not in there yet, so I can't for sure say that. But um, yeah, it, it's it's incredible. And tomorrow's day three, so you could probably still go sign up and get yeah, you get can in still on sign up. You could still do that. It's super valuable. Yesterday, Joe Vitale came in and blew everybody's brain, and like Joe Vitale fell in love with Elsie Lincoln Bendix. So if you guys don't know who she is. This is the woman who spoke to 3 million people before Napoleon Hill even stepped foot on the mat, even to be in this arena. And this woman just absolutely killed it. She spoke for five years during the women's suffrage mu uh, movement. She traveled to 55 different countries. Like her story is absolutely crazy. It is so, so, so cool. It's so good. So yeah, we put the link down at the bottom, secretsofsuccess.com, how to get anything you want challenge. Make sure you put hyphens in between all of those words um, and go sign up because day three, there's more guests. Um, they're, they're really just like, Russell's just geeking out on the, on the books with people. And it's so cool to watch. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. So go check it out. Um, there's a special guest showing up tomorrow as well, but Annie Grace will be there. Um, and it's funny, like when we were able to go behind the scenes, the people who like stood in the, in the, um, in the library as it currently exists and just wanted to soak it in, like you knew that they were just soaking in everything were Russell every single time every single time Eileen Wilder and Annie Grace and there's just a reverence that these people have for this and so to be able to have them in here is really 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 cool so if you're not signed up for it you need to be so go make sure that you've signed up because it's really good don't have any more FOMO <laughs> do it I'll get in on it cool. oh okay all right um What's coming up next week? Let's do Funnel Hackers on location. We're not yes. anywhere today, but next week we are going to be because it is uh, another Inner Circle Mastermind week next yes. week, um, which is is so fun. So, do you want to do you want to intro this? We actually yes, do. tell a story. <laughs> well, the call to actions there twice. Um, okay, so you guys may have noticed on the YouTube channel, we've been uploading all of the old Funnel Hacker TV episodes. And so you might be able to see this, but 
our very first Funnel Hacker TV was at the Inner Circle. When we launched this initially, the very first time it was on the Inner Circle in Boise at the Grove. Um, and we are doing it again, even if the video pauses. That's absolutely fine. <laughs> um, we're like talking right now with everybody, making sure that all the tech is set up and it's organized. So that way, like we have almost the same setup. Um, it's going to be absolutely cool. So we're going there. Next week has the Inner Circle for Life on Monday and Tuesday. And then they have the other high-end stuff happening Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And we're going to be there covering it the whole time. The question is, when are we going live? We are going live on Monday and Tuesday from the event. So exact same thing that we did last time. If you guys want to know what's happening, we're going to be taking notes like crazy. We're going to be sending them off to Christian so Christian can get them into the system. And then uh, it, we're going to start running because it's time. And there's some really cool insights that we want to make sure that you guys get. So make sure that you're watching on Monday and Tuesday. And then the uh, higher end inner circle program is on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And we will go live on Thursday with almost like a midpoint, holy cow, freak out. We might just go steal Russell's uh, office again for that one. Uh, yes. But it's going to be fun. It's going to be really, really cool. So we have something coming cool. Make sure that you're in. And uh, we'll keep over delivering in this episode because we still have so much more. So much more. Okay. Hacker Heroes, we got a lot of you to celebrate. Oh we're trying to gosh, we're trying to do a lot today in this episode because we know next week's going to be crazy. So... <laughs> Where do we start? I think we should start with Halloween. How many of you guys went to <laughs> Halloween as a funnel hacker? If you guys did, let us know in the comments. We love you. We'd love to hear about you guys. Um, there is so much happening. Marie Ramos went to Halloween as a funnel hacker. She's got all the swag. She's got her funnel hacking live lanyard. She's got the shirt. She's got the hat. She's got everything. Guys, uh, if you guys celebrated funnel hack or Halloween as a funnel hacker, let us know. Or if you celebrate every single day, we love, we love to hear your stories and do this. We're gonna highlight a lot of you guys because there is a lot going on. So let us know if this is you guys because there's some really good stuff going on. Um, I love the next what her one daughter was... said. I was gonna say I love what her daughter said in the captions. Like, mom, you're you're not a funnel hack, like you are a funnel hacker. That's not a costume. It's like oh. that's when you know you've really taken on that identity. Yeah. <laughs> Really taking on the identity. You can't just put it on as a cape for Halloween. Not anymore. It's you. you wear it all the time. Oh, that's funny. Um, okay, uh, a couple other things. I accidentally stopped sharing my screen. Just a moment. Here we go. Um, the next one is from Emmanuel uh, Aganam. And this is interesting because of there's so many inner circle things going on. I wanted to call this out for you guys. The question is, where are you spending your time? Um, making 100K a month seems impossible until you start hanging around people who make 100K in a day. Your circle matters. So look at who you're spending your time with. When you're online, are you on YouTube just hanging out? Where are you focused and where are your goals at? So Emmanuel, thank you for this. Um, you guys, um, we're looking at the posts that you guys promoted, that you loved, that you shared, that you reacted to. So guys, if you keep commenting, we're going to highlight you guys. One other one that I thought was really cool with what Russell's doing right now is from Nikki Vandersanden. And uh, Nikki talks about how you don't need to be perfect. Um, so right now I'm hosting an event for 120 entrepreneurs from all over the world and generated $8,000 before it even started, all from a phone and a laptop using pots and pans as a standing desk without a fancy camera. You're ready now. Just go do it. Um, and I, I think like with everything Russell's doing with Secrets of Success and how like we should throw a challenge. Let's just do it. And it's just, th it's up in a couple of days. Like you do not need to be perfect. This does not need to be thought out. You do not need months of planning in order to make this right. Often you just need to be present and out there. Um, there's a power to done that cannot be stated. Um, but those of us who know the power of done recognize it. So cool, cool, cool. Shall we do another Hacker Hero? Shall we do a little bit more? Let's do some more Hacker Heroes for hacker sure. Hacker Heroes, we have more. Okay. I feel like we haven't um, done yeah. these in so long. <laughs> Um, uh, answer to a question that we have in the chat. Yes, there is a replay for all of this for Secrets of Success Challenge. I cannot verify that that is going to be a replay for that. So definitely get in as much as you can. Uh, you don't, you don't want to miss it. But other things that are going on, if you guys have missed any episodes for so long, uh, this is Steve Larson. Steve Larson jumped on the CF Radio podcast. Um, and was able to hop on with Chris Cameron and with Laura Demetrius. 
um, was able to chat about all the things that he's been doing. If you guys want to see like what is new, like how do you embrace the discovery phase appropriately, this is the episode to listen to. Uh, this is really cool, really insightful. Like Steve and Russell still like Vox back and forth for little freak out sessions. And so if you want to, if you want to get kind of close to what Russell's thinking, um, and if you want to see like all the insights that are going on, definitely an episode that you want to click into. Uh, that's really good. And because we've missed a lot recently, there's another episode that we did with Parker Olson. Uh, so Parker Olson was able to hop on to ClickFunnels Radio as well and was able to give some really, really cool value, be able to chat and talk. He's quite young. Okay. So for those of you who guys are like, oh my gosh, I don't know if I can do this. I'm just getting started. It's okay where to start where you're at. It's all about just putting yourself out there every single step of the way. And so if you guys want, like definitely go and listen to Parker's story. It's absolutely thrilling, really, really powerful. Um, and he talks specifically about podcasts and how do you make podcasts work. By the way, all these episodes of CF Radio are on YouTube. Yes, but they're also on the podcast. So you can do either or. Uh, just go look for the ClickFunnels radio podcast. You'll be able to tune in there. Now, a couple other things seeing as we're on YouTube really quick. If you guys notice that uh, we're on YouTube, like we're on YouTube, we've got a whole bunch of you. We have all these user spotlights. We have Funnel Hacker TV that's now on YouTube. We have all the old episodes that we're putting up there as well as the new ones. Um, if you guys are on YouTube, say hello. We love seeing you guys. If you guys are on Facebook, that's fine. We love seeing you. Um, on YouTube, we drop all the ClickFunnels radio. We're dropping all of Funnel Hacker TV in here as well, as well as in the Facebook group. But we've missed a couple of user spotlights. And I figured we should highlight those. Mm -hmm. The two most recent ones that I'd really recommend that you guys go listen to um, are these two. So the first one is from uh, Bridget James Ling. Uh, Bridget James Ling is spectacular. I think we actually have a clip from her episode. So can we actually play that really quick? That would be really, really cool. My first FHL and I remember watching Tony Robbins on stage and I was like, one day I'm going to be walking that stage. I have no idea how, like, I'm going to do this. Right before that, I was working a nine to five job in New York City and I was working for someone else and I was like, I've got to be my own boss. So around when I quit my job, I found ClickFunnels and I stayed up to like two in the morning every single night studying how to do high ticket funnels. I was 100% committed. And then we hit two comma club like literally just this year. So how do you use ClickFunnels in your business? I help women sell their services on Instagram, any sort of organic marketing, anyone that's a online coach or selling a service. I teach them how to post and how to sell and then use recurring offers in order to scale to seven figures. So now that you've officially made the two comma club, what sort of goals do you have now for your business? I see a million honestly as like, I'm just getting started. Give yourself permission to get in the room with other people that have what you want and surround yourself with them because you are worthy and you do deserve to have a massive business. Oh, that was good. Okay. So here's the deal guys. Uh, this episode is literally like 10 minutes long. If you're looking for something to listen to, just to be able to feel like you're a part of the community, you're trying to get movement, definitely come over here, like the video, watch it, subscribe. It's going to be really, really good. The other one that just dropped on Tuesday um, is from Talia Ranieri. Uh, we met Talia mm -hmm. at Funnel Hacking Live, and we got to hear a little bit of her story as we were talking with her in the back, but she actually shared a little bit with us, and we decided to make a short of it, too. This one is like 22 minutes long, so it's a little bit longer, but it's really from the heart and really, really powerful. And Here's a quick snippet of Talia's user spotlight no identity. So I did what most people do, I think, when they find uh, ClickFunnels and Russell. Before this world, I used to work for the Victorian government with corrections. And unfortunately, I got injured at work to try and be able to continue being a prison officer. But unfortunately, my employment ended. I Googled about being able to make money online. I found Russell and yeah, it kind of like just spread on from that. And then like actually being at FHL, just like it blew my mind. I can't think of like a crazier transition from basically being in the hospital for a week in that room with 5,000 other entrepreneurs. My dream the ability to help others come online and grow and scale. But yeah. one of the biggest parts realizing I'm on the right path with it.
Save them. Yeah, and there's a lot to be said about being surrounded by other entrepreneurs and being in the same room with them because it's like a bunch of entrepreneurs getting together to finally be surrounded by people who think just like you do. There we go. We made it through. Right. Talia is such an awesome person. Um, yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. Make sure you guys go watch watch her story and all the other ones that you've been missing. I've missed a lot. I need to go get caught up too. Absolutely. Should we do a little bit more Hacker Hero? Just really quick. I want to drop yeah. one more over deliver. Is that okay? There's two people that are giving you guys things for free that you need to be paying attention to and all of them will be valuable. One, how many of you have gone through the linchpin book? How many of you have been like, you know what? I see what Russell's doing with Secrets of Success. He's talked about all Funnel Hacking Live. Maybe I should like study this thing. Somebody went through, studied it, and then created a Trello board organizing how to do it from front to end. And they shared it with everybody. They shared it. So let me show, show you this really quick. This is Ajax Styles. okay? Ajax Styles is showing you guys exactly what he did. So he went through the book and the course and has clarity on how to do it, made the commitment, and uh, now he's organized all of it. So sat down, needed crystal clear what to do step by step on the tech side to create. So created an actual uh, actionable SOP. So you can actually see the images here. Uh, it's all of the pieces of the linchpin piece by piece, like ridiculously well organized. Mm -hmm. And he took screenshots of it every single step of the way. So that way you guys can model this and implement it for yourself. So it's not something that like we're sharing the link around. You have the step by step here. He's built it out for you. So that way you guys can model it. So it's ridiculously cool that he's doing that. So Ajax. Thank you. Uh, often, like we build some of the things that we absolutely love and we want to hold on to them really tight when giving it out to the world would make a much bigger difference. So on that note, how many of you guys went to Funnel Hacking Live? How many of you guys wish you had and didn't? And would love the notes because, oh my gosh, this is the last really crazy over deliver that we need to talk about. Let's go ahead and talk about uh, Dewey Craigman. Dewey actually went and organized all of her notes from every single day and tossed it definitely in the Funnel Hacking Live event community. Um, but go and see in the ClickFunnels, just go and search for Dewey and see what she's done. Uh, so she has created her notes from Funnel Hacking Live. This is 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 different images just for day one. Okay, so it's like a step-by-step -step with like a summary and a checklist and workbook, summary, checklist, workbooks. And that's not just for day one. It's for day two as well. So you can see day two, step-by-step. -step. Everyone who spoke, she's got all the speakers on here. And same thing with day three. Like this is like, that's awesome. I'm kind of freaking out. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> and like, and it's free for everyone. She didn't put it behind an opt-in wall or anything like that. Like go and give Dewey some love because- yeah. That is beautiful and super, super powerful. And those are just three days. I imagine there's a day four on the way. So go and say thank you to her if you would. Mm -hmm. She is spectacular and she's giving some amazing value to you guys for free. So go and check her out um, and uh, tell her thank you because there's some good stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I That's think awesome. we should turn the time over to you to over deliver a little bit. <laughs> Okay, let's do it. Let's do some funnel hacking because there's been a lot of funnels that we've been talking about lately, but it's time to dive into them and show them. So yes. um, let's see. I think that we can share my screen. I wasn't I wasn't ready to share it, but we'll let's do it. I think we got it here. Um, okay, so we've been talking about the uh, which which funnel actually, Ben? Should That's we be question. funnel hacking? Because I just so, okay, realized so I might not be sharing the one that we should. <laughs> Um, okay, so let's talk through this, the funnels really quick. So when Russell launched, he's launching using the linchpin. So definitely go to linchpinbook.com in order to see how he's doing it. You can see it step by step. Um, but he built a couple different funnels. Uh, the first funnel that he did was a simple like pre-frame. It was a one-page funnel um, that then kind of made you wait for a while. And if you waited, it then unlocked the Mifki funnel. And uh, so if you guys want to see the Mifki funnel, you can actually see that. So this is that page and let's go ahead and let's talk through that one let's do this one yeah i was like yeah. oh, there's been so many funnels I'm like oh which one should we do okay um, so yeah. this is the one if you saw all the all this all the buzz around the bibliomania documentary this is that page and it's you it looks a little bit different than what you may have seen it look like when it initially launched um and so on this page 
uh, we got awesome headline. I mean, obviously an, a good hook here, right? A book that's worth $1.5 million. Um, and then the documentary itself, which mm -hmm. is a 17 minute video. Yeah. Let me click on it and we can see the, oh, we can't. Can okay. one? That's okay. Um, and yeah, it's about 17 minutes. So initially there was a countdown timer on here. And once the countdown timer got to zero, then the page would open up. There'd be a lot more content on it. But now what they've actually done is, uh, oh wait, no, this is the one. I went to the wrong link. So what? yeah, this is the old one. Yep, but now the one. there is one. Do you know what that URL is for that one? <laughs> I don't know if I do. Is it not but slash bibliomania so anymore? That, yeah, so so that there's actually no countdown now, and immediately under the video, there is a like it's just a click this button. Like here's the offer. Click the button if you want to move on, and I can probably grab that link really quick. Um, and what we're hearing is that it's converting a lot better that way. It's a lot better. Um, yes, here absolutely. It is. I got Biblio it, yep, I got it here. Bibliomania uh -huh. Tyson. Um, yeah. And so like one was used for the launch strategy and the other one now is used as just a basic pre-frame. Yeah. Um, so we're sending people to go. a VSL almost before they're going to the order page. Yeah. And so in the, the version that had the countdown timer, uh, that one was an opt-in page. So mm -hmm. when people were able to now click on the button on the other version, it would ask for their email. On this one, it actually just takes people right to that Mifki page, which is now what we are going to funnel hack um on this page it is like a much shorter video i i, don't, I can't tell because like, we can't see the timestamp, but <laughs> i think it's a shorter one it's not the same video that they just watched Great. um and it's the checkout so the checkouts at the top of the page so this is the checkout page for the mifki offer so if you're like mm -hmm. oh my gosh i'm just barely figuring out what mifki even means i think i got a mifki offer ready how do I even go build a page? This would be the page to come in and hack uh, because it it ha hits all the marks. So he's giving away awesome gifts when they get into the free trial, which is the goal of a Mifki funnel. So he's giving away the three books from Napoleon Hill. Very, very cool offer. And then uh, you can see right here, test drive, the new secrets of success mastermind community for free. For 30 or for, for 30 days and we'll ship you these three gifts for free. Um, and then when you scroll down, he goes into detail. Okay. Let me tell you more about the gifts. So I think the, the cool thing, the important takeaway, he's not talking about the membership. He's talking about the free gifts, right? I think that's the biggest takeaway for the Mythki funnel. Talk about the thing that's really, really cool that they really, really want. And then it's like, oh, and by the way, like it's because you're going to test drive this thing that I'm even giving these to you. Um, I'm just going to scroll real quick on this page so you can see like the, he, he goes into story, right? We got to go into like emotional and logical and all the all the key points of a sales page. Um, but in here, it's not talking about the membership. Here we're starting to talk about the community. That's part of it. Mm -hmm. And we're back to three gifts. <laughs> so the highlight is the three gifts. And also you get this presentation, right? This is all like four gifts that you get when you join. And then we get, it like keeps going. It keeps going. He talks about why he's even doing this, why he started this thing. Here's the masterclass that you're going to get inside. Now here's where he starts breaking down the actual membership stuff. Um, so the, I think the big takeaway that if I could leave you with nothing else, if you take nothing else away from this page, lead with the gift, make it a super amazing, incredible gift. And the membership is the thing that you really want them in. But that's the thing that's secondary to what they care about. They care about the really cool gift. Yeah. And they will care about the membership, but they have to get into it. They have to experience it before they're really going to understand. And we are seeing that with people that are jumping into this um, like in the in the community of of uh, affiliate people that have turned into like buyers and they're in there and they're experiencing it. All of them are posting about how amazing it is. Um, but they didn't know that until they got into it. So I think that's the big takeaway. Anything else you want to bring up specifically about the page, Ben? Um, the page itself, like the thing is like, there's some story wrapped into this page. Um, and we went back and forth. Do we want the story in here? Do we not want the story in here? 
And because Russell's been so crazy about this and because the story just, it just is like, we, you can't ignore it. We put the story in, but normally for this type of funnel, you don't need that story. You lead with the gifts and the gifts will speak for themselves. Um, and then you say, here's all the gifts when you get, uh, when you try the membership and here's why the membership is so good. And you list out those different benefits for the membership. And at the end of the day, they see everything that they're able to get for the next 30 days or next 14 days or however that works. And it's just a no brainer. Um, and it's absolutely beautiful. So definitely go over, check it out. Um, that is the first page. And then uh, are you able to see the order bump for chance? Uh, I cannot at the moment. Okay. <laughs> so you want right. me to purchase this thing again? I have no, a screenshot no, no, no. of it, but I don't have it handy. No. Um, but, uh, so, so the order bump for this, uh, the, so let me talk about the strategy real quick. There's yeah. an order bump for this. It's $97 and or either 97 or 67. I can't remember. Do you remember Susan? I think, uh, I think it's, oh my gosh. Now I'm second guessing. It's, a, it's right? one of those. <laughs> it's one of those. Um, and what it is, is it's a training called the master key system that Napoleon Hill did. And we've got workbooks, we've got guides and all those different things for that specific bonus. And if you take it as the order bump, it's great. If you don't, because ClickFunnels 2.0 is ClickFunnels 2.0, we built a special upsell just in case you didn't buy it. And it's really, really cool. So uh, yeah, it's, it's neat. It's super slick. All right. Yeah, I think that's it on that page, That everything that I wanted to cover. Amazing. I was going to see if I could pull the order bump up really quick, but it's going to take longer than it should. Um, okay. Uh, and then on the next page of this, there's an upsell. Should we talk about the upsell really quick? Oh, yeah, just briefly that, that it exists. And yeah, um, yeah. And kind of the strategy around it is really cool because a lot yeah. of people are like, but I don't have something to create an upsell with. I don't know what to even do. Russell made it easy. So we we uh, have been talking a lot of it about this in our community, just on our observations of how Russell has implemented Lynchpin from the initial idea of the Lynchpin framework and, and putting it out. And when he started talking about it to now, and it has evolved a little bit, um, even in like the Lynchpin graphic in the book, when it when you have the oh, I wonder if I could pull that up um, when you have the the at the end of your dramatic demonstration the offer that you make the bulk plus uh what is it called bulk plus continuity offer mm -hmm. trying to get yep. book site up um it points there's like an arrow there's an arrow that points over to your level two continuity here we go we can share my screen again i'm like i need it i need the oh sorry <laughs> go ahead i'm pushing buttons go ahead and add it okay sweet so we've got this arrow that goes to level two uh, and you can't see my cursor, but there's the, uh, the goes from like that four, number four down to the, the bull continuity plus offer down to level two. But what we're actually seeing lately that Russell's been doing is that his bulk continuity plus offer is actually, it's not like a whole nother offer. Like you would think of like, I have a level one offer and I have a level two offer. It's actually like more of the same thing. Um, if you've ever heard him talk about, uh, uh, supplement e funnels. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, mm -hmm. just sell the more of the same thing. And so that's what he's doing now with the membership and the continuity, because you got them into a 30 day trial and they're paying monthly. But then on the upsell page, what Russell's doing is saying like, Hey, do you actually want to just pay me for the whole year and get two months free? Plus I'm going to give you the super awesome gift. Like there's another Mifty offer on that page. So it's really, really enticing. You should go through that funnel and see what the upsell offer is um, because he gives us this super awesome gift to get people to buy the annual plan of the same membership. He's not giving them an entirely new offer. It, it's a new offer, but it's the same product. He's giving yes. them the same membership, same level. They're, you don't get anything else in addition to it other than the free gift. And I love I think that that's you just really said awesome. it's the same it's the same product, but a different offer. Yeah. It's like, because wait, what does that even product. mean? Yeah. You have right. To go through it. Go <laughs> yeah. <funnel> hack it. <laughs> so I think that's like what Ben said is that like, if, if you're like, I don't have all these things to be creating all these offers on all of these pages of my one funnel, I'm just trying to sell this thing. You could just throw your continuity offer together, make it good, and then get them into the monthly. And then your upsell is get the, you know, the percentage of people that are going to take you up on the annual deal, but give them a Mifki mm -hmm. 
offer with that, get, entice them, give it like really sweeten the pot to make it worth their while to sign up to the annual. Plus they're saving a little bit of money because you're giving them a little bit of a discount instead of yep. them paying monthly over a year. Exactly. It's so then, cool. I do, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. And then my suggestion would be like, when you do go funnel hack it, don't buy the order bump for the first on purpose and see how they reuse it in the funnel. So if you don't buy it at the beginning, they reuse it on the back end as its own upsell. And it is really cool, super neat strategy. Um, and it's something that I would highly recommend you pay attention to. Um, it's really cool, super clean. Um, and it's the funnel is working absolutely wonderfully. Like we're all freaking out about it back here. Um, and so we're seeing the numbers. We're having a great time. Um, and so we cannot wait uh, for you guys to go and funnel hack it. Go and see how it works for yourself. Like what is, what is your like list of things to do when, when you're funnel hacking? What do you do, Susan? What do I do? Uh, first, yeah. okay. So I was going to say, even before you ask that question, like if you can just understand the um, intention of how the offers are presented in the funnel. And I'd say that's the first thing that I go and do um, mm -hmm. is like, what is, what is happening? What, how are the, what is being offered? And um, what do, are the, like, what's the fine print around it? Like it's a free plus free plus shipping, like for a book funnel or a free trial for 30 days, whatever. Map out what are these products? What are the price points? How are these related to one another? And that we've discovered, like, well, they're not re really related to one another. It's like the exact same thing. <laughs> um, how are the Mifki, Mifki products, like, uh, how are they like more desirable than the thing that they are actually, than Russell's like actually selling mm. in some ways? Um, so I think understanding the structure of the funnel, as far as how how the how the offers and the pages relate to one another. Um, and then from there, it's, okay, what language is Russell using? Well, this is, I'm assuming we're all funnel hacking Russell primarily here. Yes. <laughs> what, yes. what language is Russell using? And um, one of the tidbits that I got from actually Ru just hearing Russell talk about these funnels, the Mifki funnels, is that he specifically uses a phrase on these um, that he's like, I try to use this as many times as possible. And I'm going to try to find it. Oh, yeah, yeah. We already read it earlier. So if we share my screen one more time. He says like test drive. Um, and then also this, this is the phrase, just say maybe. He, mm -hmm. I heard him talking about this. He's like, if I can say like, just say maybe or test drive or like you're just trying out this thing um, as many times as possible and free gifts for free as many times as possible on the pages. Like that's his goal. <laughs> like you could see it just in this one shot. We have free uh, up at the like the banner. We have it here. We have it on the button. We have it right here. We have it on every single the one of the free gift one, two, and three down here. Like just this one shot. It's on there like six times. Um, and it goes for any funnel. What mm -hmm. key phrases do you see being used that's intentionally that way? Uh, and they're not suggested. It should be something you're actually putting on your own pages. Yep. So uh, look at the page structure, the intention behind the offer structure, and then also look at the copy that keeps presenting itself that you may be missing. But like paying attention to how you are sold is probably the best strategy and way that you have to be able to learn how to implement all the different things that Russell has talked about through all the different books. Um, and so if you're not following along with Secrets of Success, highly recommend it. And if you want to keep following along, may I suggest text FHTV to 208-231-3797. And if you are on YouTube, make sure that you subscribe and ring the bell so that you get notified every time we go live because we have more to give. Next week, we get to go to the inner circle. We know we're going to be sharing some insights that we probably shouldn't. Uh, so <laughs> you should definitely really hard follow. Not <laughs> yeah. So make sure that you guys are following along. We love having you guys here. Can't wait to see you again. Susan, thank you for walking through us. Through yeah, us that's fun. We are, we're funnel hackers. That's the best thing to do. <laughs> Most yes, fun thing. It really is. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you guys next time. Have a wonderful day. My name is Russell Brunson, and I'm part of an underground group of entrepreneurs that you've probably never even heard of before. We don't rely on cash from venture capitalists to get started, and we don't even have goals to go public either. In fact, our motivation is the exact opposite. You see, we have products and services and things that we know change people's lives. But because we're fighting against the big brands, people with literally unlimited budgets, we have to do things differently. We have to do things smarter. We don't have financial safety nets because every test we take 
is with our own money. We have to be profitable from day number one. So how do we do that? How is that even possible? If you ask the MBAs or look at your college textbooks, they will tell you that what we are doing is impossible, yet it's happening every single day. And it's happening through an art and a science that we call funnel hacking. It's not really something that I can explain to you, it's something I have to show you. These stories are a glimpse of entrepreneurs just like you who have a dream and a vision who want to change the world in their own little way. I use the funnel hacking process to help make their dreams become a reality. Yes, we are funnel hackers and these are our stories.